Hello guys, and welcome back to another CAFCAST! Today we are taking a look at the Cooler Master V1200 Platinum. This is a 80 plus Platinum power supply from Cooler Master. They very kindly have sent one over for me to take a look at, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, for anybody who's interested, this is a modular power supply with a MBTF of 100,000 hours. Uh, hold up time of 17 milliseconds, which is very, very cool. Essentially, this is a power supply that is designed to be uh, reliable, and that's kind of what I wanted. Now, before anybody starts talking about it in the comments, I know that this is overkill. Uh, this is not something that I would normally purchase, something that is this kind of level. I would normally go with something like, in fact, what I have in my other system is an 850 watt power supply. Um, but seeing as we had a chance to take a look at it, I thought, why not? Let's just plug it in and see what happens. And hopefully um, we'll be able to get something out of it that works really well um, and has such a low threshold that we won't actually be kicking up the fan unless we are really at a heavy, heavy load. And that's that's kind of the idea behind using something of, of, of this level. But as I said before, there's no reason at all for you to spend loads and loads of money on a power supply. It's really not that important. You should use a, a power supply checker or calculator and in fact, there is one on Cooler Master's website if you want to find out exactly how many watts you need for your system. And it is updated on a regular basis as well, so you can double check whether or not you can run four of those Titan Xs on your system and those kind of things. So, the first thing to note is that the power supply is surprisingly heavy. It took actually a bit of effort to... Uh, to get that out um, but it is out now and it's in another secondary box which is probably quite good for shipping I expect and is quite well secured with a nice Cooler Master logo on the front there and here we go we have a little user manual which is kind of like another one of these sort of pull out leaflet type designs Cooler Master seems to be quite happy with those and to be honest with you if they do the job and you're able to understand what it's trying to portray effectively, then they're fine. There's no problem at all there. We have not one, but two packs of what looks like a, uh, a lot of modular sleeved cables. And in fact, if we have a little look inside here, you can see that everything uh, is either is all black and is either ribboned or is sleeved. Um, and actually, the sleeving, even when it's uh, sorry, when, even when it's ribboned, it still looks really nice. Um, and I imagine that that will actually be quite easy to uh, modular around the computer. We're essentially going to need to have uh, power for three uh, three SSDs for the graphics card, six and eight pin for the 780 that we're going to be using temporarily until we decide to get one of the new 9 series cards that are coming out later on. Uh, and then we're probably looking at a little bit more for the obviously the, the, the motherboard itself. But other than that, we haven't really got that many power cables running all around the computer, so it should hopefully be a really clean build. At least that's what I'm hoping for. And in this pouch here, we have got the all trusty uh, actual just plug it into the wall power supply UK one because I am in the UK um, so yeah fear are strange looking plug uh, and uh, and there's a few old kind of style IDE connections as well which is good IDE when I say IDE I mean do I mean IDE power I how do you power IDE drives that's how you power IDE drives. So we still have a few of those, which we definitely won't be using. But it's good of Cooler Master to provide us with two of these pouches, because I always think that these are quite good, especially for doing bits and pieces like this. Um, I really like those. So that's fantastic. We can put those to one side and get the actual power supply out, which again is in probably a nicer bag than my pillow. Uh, it's really, really soft. That's lovely. Ah, they, they really are looking after this power supply, making sure that it gets to you in a nice condition um, and also enjoys the ride as well. <laughs> anyway, um, so the actual the actual power supply itself is quite attractive, um, which is a strange thing to say about a power supply. So uh, I'm going to put this bag to one side. Uh, it says hybrid fan is intelligently switched on at higher temperatures only. So that's what I was talking to you guys about, which is absolutely fantastic. 
if I take it out of this small plastic bag here, you can see that the, uh, the actual power supply itself has a really nice silver kind of brushed uh, metal finish with the fan on the top uh, and even a satisfying uh, sticker to peel off on the, on the top there as well. Uh, a big old power switch, which is nice to see because when you're feeling around the back of your computer, the last thing you want is a very, very small one to have to turn on and off. So that's really, really good to see. And in fact, I'll put that off now so that that's set up the right way it should be for when you're building your computer. And the modular collections themselves, or connections rather, I should say, um, we have six pin at PCI Express, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Uh, we have the eight pin CPU, the 18 pin motherboard. Uh, I'm just trying to read and make sure. Oh no, in fact, sorry. We have six, six, six pin PCI Express slots, two 18, uh, eight pin CPU slots, 18 pin motherboard slot, just the one. <coughs> A 10 pin motherboard slot as well and then uh, all the rest are uh, SATA connections <coughs> mm. so there we go that's the entirety of the board itself it has got the hybrid fan connection as well uh, on the system which actually connects up to this hybrid fan controller which we have inside here along with some more cable ties which is really really nice if we wanted to what we could do is we could tell this uh, this fan to either go into automatic mode or into hybrid mode. As you can see here, we have the option to do either. I believe that the processor, that the thing itself is actually um, already automatically set up to do that intelligent switching on thing. Uh, but then you can also turn that off if you want to as well um, by adding this little uh, sort of extension card Thing which we definitely won't be doing because I have no desire to mess with the power supply in any way, shape or form. It's going to sit and it's going to intelligently do exactly what it wants to do. And if it wants to turn the fan on, it can turn the fan on as far as I'm concerned. So once I've finished installing the power supply, guys, we'll be taking a little bit of a look for you in some more detail. And I'll come back to this video with a closing statement about the power supply, letting you know if it was easy to install and also letting you know if it was uh, easy to get running and everything and make sure it's all working okay. So we'll see you shortly. So after installing the power supply and spending a bit of time with it, here's what I found. It's a power supply. Yeah, it's not really gonna be anything that's gonna blow your mind in terms of PC builds there are always much more interesting things but there's a few things that I want to talk about about this power supply which stand out the quality of the build and the quietness of it are significant benefits the fact that the power supply doesn't really make any noise unless my computer is at full load and I mean dead silent the fan actually turns off for the majority of the system being on is fantastic and the product feels like a quality product it does say on the box that it has some high-end Japanese capacitors and bits and pieces inside it but really until you get hold of something like this it's hard to judge it for yourself the drawback I think there's only one that I can think of at the moment is that the ribboned cables are quite hard to cable manage the ATX 12 volt connection that we use to connect the motherboard to the power supply is absolutely fine. It's sleeved, it's braided, it's wonderful. The rest of the cables, including the SATA connections, the CPU connection, the 4 pin and the 8 pin, uh, sorry, 6 pin and 8 pin for the PCI Express for the graphics cards, are all ribbon cables, which is very, very disappointing. It's a challenge for us because when we want to work with cable management and stuff around the back of the, ca the, the, the actual case, when you cable tie a ribbon cable, all that happens is it wraps round and becomes very difficult to work with. So that was a bit of a shame. But there's nothing wrong with using the cables that it has or even using your own. Or the most ideal option would actually be to sleeve the cables yourself, which you can do relatively easy. However, through various different folding and, and techniques through cable management in the back, as you can see, we've managed to get the system looking pretty good, apart from the little ribbon extension that we have on the GTX 780 here. Good thing is that the this power supply actually supports those dual 8-pin connections on the ribbons, so we only use one PCI Express cable for powering both the 6-pin and the 8-pin on the graphics card, which is super awesome. Uh, and apart from that, 
as again I said it's a power supply so hopefully this one will make it on your shortlist and if not the 1 200 because you don't need that much power the 850 the 650 any of those ones will be a good choice for you and you should definitely consider it I guess really as with all power supplies it comes down to price point but please make sure make sure that you get something that has an 80 plus recommendation and that all the cooler master one do support that so that's something to bear in mind Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope this power supply review has been helpful to you. If you want to see any more about the How to Peel Build a YouTube PC series, head over to the channel. There's loads and loads of different videos, including a video series dedicated to the construction of the computer that you can go and check out, so please do that. But until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Take care. You've been watching the Gaffcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Gaffcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos.